All right, hi guys and dolls, welcome back. So this is another video on my phone. So um, this will not be edited. It's one o'clock in the morning, but I've been meaning to share with you um, a testimony, but also I don't know exactly what I'm gonna title this video just yet, but just the hand of God moving. Um, and the Lord reminded me of a scripture. Um, I think it's the Psalms 37, 4. That might not be right. I'll link it in the description. But I, I patiently waited for the Lord and he heard my cry. So I was at um, one of my other jobs where I was pretty much doing that um, more than my current job that I have now. And there's a story behind that. So, um, pretty much, so my part-time job is in retail, and pretty much, um, I wanted to be able to, um, work, you know, full-time, and cause I'm like, I have big goals, I have big dreams, and this, this check ain't doing it, these hours not doing it, right? So I'm talking to the Lord, and I've been, been faithful in where I had been, um, and I tried to go on interview, job interviews, and this and that. And I just remember saying, God, there has to be so much more than me just being the greeter at this place, counting people in and out of the store. Like, and mind you, also, um, they would not even really let us wear our jackets by the freezing cold door. And I'm, like, cold-natured. So, like, that was causing pain and whatnot and I remember there were times I was standing there and I was like God there's got to be so much more than this God this cannot be it like this cannot be it and I remember applying for jobs going on interviews and feeling like the door has been shut or they didn't call me back and I just remember him highlighting that scripture I patiently waited for the Lord and he heard my cry because there would even be times where like I would be up there at the front and just kind of waiting for people to come in and out to count them. And I remember sometimes I would get so frustrated of being where I was at. That sometimes I would literally cry at work. And um, I just, you know, guys, I study mental health counseling. So I've been wanting a job in my field for a while. But it, it can be kind of hard to find something like that. Um, unless you're in an inpatient hospital setting, which... To me is still kind of like it's kind of far out and whatnot and this and that and some jobs you have to have a certain certification or license for which I'm not there yet guys when I tell you that God favored me like I see why all those doors closed I really really do I they paid less I don't even know if they gave me all the hours and some of them might have been full time didn't really work for my sleep schedule but you know sometimes you ever been so determined like me you're like I'm gonna find a way I'm gonna find a way I'm gonna do it cuz I gotta get to this goal that was me but I realized my goals were not necessarily God's goals and that some of what I was doing like not fully in alignment God had something better I remember I was on indeed I don't even have I don't even have like, I don't want to say good luck, but you know what I mean, um, with Indeed. And I just happened to go on. I um, just read through and said, oh, this seems like something that I could do. Um, put in my name, my email address, my resume. It took me to a page and it was like three o'clock in the morning. I'm like, I'm not doing all that right now. And mind you, my attitude, because I had just done so many cover letters of resumes and job interviews and the door just kept shutting in my face so i'm thinking like is this my time to rest now like am i not even supposed to be working like the way that i'm thinking you know um not even the next day that same day i get an email from the coordinator saying hey we want to interview you and i'm like i didn't even finish the application talk about the favor of god I didn't even finish the application. So we ended up doing the interview and I knew I had a job. And um, 
it was like the next day or two, she offered me the job. And not only, guys, not only is this job in my field, it pays a lot more than my part-time retail job that I actually still have. Um, it gives me full-time hours. They feed me snack and dinner five times a week because I got to get my weight back because I lost 23 pounds. Um, so I don't even have to worry about cooking dinner for five days out of the week. I'm a little lazy when it comes to that too. So I'm just like, man, and I might be able to do my practicum and internship. I have to do a thousand hours for my program. That's a lot. And any counseling student who's ever had to do either or trying to find a site and all that, it can be a pain. I could potentially do that there. It's less than 15 minutes away. I mean, all the things that I had been praying for, all it just seemed so spot on. And I was able to see, okay, God, now I see why all those other doors had to close. Because this was waiting for me. This, this you had for me. And when I think of the scripture, I patiently waited for the Lord. I could have quit my other job. I could have did this. I could have got frustrated. I could have said, well, you know what, God? What's the point of me even applying for this job? And not even took the first step. You know? And when I was doing it, I, would, I didn't think that I was going to go on an interview. I didn't think... Not that I was being pessimistic, but I just, the doors had been closing and I thought, well, maybe this is my season to rest. So I, I had, at that point, I kind of stopped actively looking for a job. I said, God, I don't really want me to work a full-time job right now. Maybe he don't want me to because I got full-time grad school, got Janae Cosmetics, got the Janae Well show. I work part-time. Maybe that's too much. Maybe it's my season to rest. And I mean, would you look at that? Look at God. Like, just, it's more than what I could have even asked for like and i'm going to show you this i bought this a while ago ask and it will be given seeking you will find knock and the door shall be open i asked god i patiently waited for the lord but i asked him i asked him god can you help me find something that's more suitable for my career and more meaningful and he did <laughs> checked off other boxes and other things that I didn't even know that I needed. But I knew that when God set me on assignment to study at the university that I'm currently at, oh my God, how am I going to get these thousand hours? And look, he's making way. Because when God sends you on assignment, he's going to bring you the provision for it. He knows what you need before you even need it. So God's not going to send you on assignment and be like, oh, I know you need to get these fulfill these requirements, but I'm not going to make a way for that to happen for you. So, I mean, and let me tell you, guys, let me tell you, then my other job, I wasn't even expecting a paycheck last week. Coworker said, oh yeah, they're having, they're giving out this bonus. I'm thinking, COVID, they're giving out a bonus? What? And she said, yeah, it depends on a variety of factors, like your performance and your reviews and how long you've been in the company, da 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 da. I wasn't expecting nothing, not even my thirty-seven dollars I get a week because they hadn't been scheduling me. I only work like four hours a week now at that job. Guys, I got a hundred and forty dollar bonus. Look at God, a hundred and forty dollars was on its way to my account and I didn't even know it. Talk about surprise blessings. And God had told me. He told me the week, I think it was the week before, because um, I did a video on surprise blessings before. He told me the week before, I'm not done. I'm not done surprising you. I was like, what do you mean, God? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, what else you got up your sleeve? And I was like, oh, that's probably also what God meant. I, I believe that I'm just scratching the surface, but that was just one example. I feel like God said, surprise. You weren't expecting it. You really, you really didn't do anything to earn it, to do, to really deserve it. I mean, some people might say, yeah, because you've been working there, da-da-da, but I knew it was the hand of God. I mean, I was thinking, I was thinking a bonus, probably $25, $50. I was not expecting $140. Just a bonus. Not even my paycheck. Because my paycheck was zero. But a bonus, y'all. 
I was like, oh, Jesus. But I want to come on and encourage you that there's grace and favor in the weight of whatever it is that God has you in that, that in the middle, in the meantime, he is the God of the middle. He is. So when you don't feel like it, he's working, when you don't see it, he's working. He's working and moving. In that time, it didn't feel like it. In that time, it didn't. I, I didn't think that, that it was going to happen for me. But look, look at God. He is the way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are. He is the way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are. That is who you are. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. My God never stops working. He never stops working. Hallelujah. So, and just worship your way. Like so many times I had to worship, I would be singing that song. Uh, Harvest Live, Waymaker all the time, jumping around, just saying, God, even when I don't see it, I know you're moving. I know it's coming because I felt a shift in the atmosphere. And the spirit, I could feel it. I said, I know something. Cause I know a lot of things are coming. Posture yourself in praise to receive it in Jesus' name. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wasn't trying to make this a 12-minute long video, but it's unedited. And it's 1.15 in the morning. So... I love you all. I'm always keeping all my prayers. And please do keep me in yours. Um, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys and dolls. Love you.